The 2008 U.S. beef protest in South Korea was a series of protest demonstrations between 24 May 2008 and about 18 July 2008 in Seoul, Korea. At its height, the protest involved tens of thousands of people. The protest began after the South Korean government reversed a ban on U.S. beef imports. The ban had been in place since December 2003, when the prion responsible for bovine spongiform encephalopathy BSE, or mad cow disease was detected in U.S. beef cattle. The protests occurred on a background of talks concerning the U.S.-Korea Free Trade Agreement. Unrest was fanned by local media reports such as the Munwa Broadcasting Corporation MBC PD Notebook Program, Is American Beef Really Safe from Mad Cow Disease? Televised on the 27th of April 2008. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Background. Controversy in South Korea over U.S. beef isn't new, but has been largely dormant for the past four years. In 2008, the then new Lee myung bak government agreed, after extensive negotiations, to restart imports, which had been halted since cases of mad cow disease were found in the United States in 2003. That decision set off a firestorm of controversy, leading hundreds of thousands of citizens to come out in the spring and early summer of 2008 in protest over the resumed imports. Sensationalist media reports and online rumors fueled speculation that the new president was recklessly putting South Koreans' health at risk of contracting bovine spongiform encephalopathy, better known as mad cow disease. The deal has sparked public outrage amid widespread perceptions, fanned in part by sensational media reports, MBC PD Notebook, that it exposes the country to a higher risk of mad cow disease. Origin of the protest <laughs> 2003 On 23 December 2003, a first case of BSE in the U.S. was found in Washington state. The Holstein cow had been imported from Canada in 2001. On 9 December the 6.5-year-old cow was slaughtered. The cow was a downer, a cow that is unable to walk. For that reason, the U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA was automatically notified, and the cow was examined before and after its death by a government vet. The vet determined that the cow was suffering from complications of calving. Samples of tissue were taken for further testing for BSE. Parts of the cow with a high risk of transmitting the BSE prion were removed but may have been sent for inedible rendering into food for non-ruminant animals. The carcass itself was allowed to continue on for further processing into human food at other facilities. On 23 December 2003 when tests proved positive for BSE, a recall was made. The contaminated meat had not entered the commercial market. Offspring of the cow were destroyed. South Korea, Japan, Singapore, Malaysia and Taiwan banned imports of U.S. beef. The head of the U.S. FDA at the time was Ann M. Veneman, a former lobbyist for the food industry. 2006 By 2006, 65 nations had full or partial restrictions on the importation of U.S. beef. Export sales of U.S. beef fell from $3.8 billion in 2003 to $1.4 billion in 2005. An attempt to reopen the South Korean market to U.S. beef imports in 2006 restricted to boneless meat from cattle less than 30 months old failed when the South Korean government discovered bone chips in a shipment of 3.2 tons of meat. Sporadic attempts made in the following year also failed for similar reasons. 2008 Lee's reversal of the beef import ban On 17 January 2008 representatives of the President of South Korea met with Alexander Vershbo, the U.S. Ambassador to South Korea to discuss beef imports. Further talks were held between 11 and 17 April 2008. On 18 April U.S. and South Korean negotiators reached an agreement on the sanitary rules that Korea would require of U.S. beef imports. 
The agreement allowed imports of all cuts of U.S. beef both boneless and bone-in and certain beef products, including those from cattle over 30 months old. Processors had to remove material known to risk BSE prion transmission. President Lee visited President George W. Bush at Camp David on 20 April 2008. The U.S. reported, President Bush welcomed the decision of the Korean government to resume the import of U.S. beef, based on international standards and science. The two presidents pledged to make every effort to urge their respective legislatures to approve the Chorus FTA Korean -US Free Trade Agreement within this year. Demonstrators accused Lee of reversing the ban on imports of U.S. beef in haste, giving the U.S. unwarranted concessions, so that Korea would receive a favorable reception, particularly with respect to ratifying the proposed free trade agreement. The demonstrators said Lee had abandoned his duty of care to the people of South Korea for political gain by ignoring their concern about BSE prion transmission and by lowering tariffs on imported beef. Korea agreed to remove a 40% tariff on beef muscle meat imported from the U.S. for a period of 15 years. Korea could however, impose temporary tariffs if there was a surge of U.S. beef imports above specified levels. <laughs> MBC. PD Notebook. Program. On 27 April 2008, MBC televised a program called, Is American Beef Really Safe from Mad Cow Disease? The program precipitated mass demonstrations. After a complaint was received from the South Korean Agriculture Ministry, the Seoul Central Prosecutor's Office formed a team of five to investigate the program's content. <laughs> Downer cows. Downer cows are animals presented for slaughter that are sick or unable to walk. One of many causes for a downer is BSE. MBC was criticized for broadcasting footage of downer cows with translated subtitles that suggested they suffered from BSE, whereas they were filmed because of animal cruelty concerns, not BSE. <laughs> Aretha Vinson Aretha Vinson was a 21-year-old student at Virginia State University. She died on 9 April 2008 of Wernicke's encephalopathy. The MBC broadcast showed footage of Vinson's mother speaking about her daughter's illness. Translated subtitles suggested Vinson had VCJD, but that was only one initial diagnostic possibility. Risk of U.S. beef to South Korea Concerns that some commentators raised about the program included, MBC's statements about a genetic vulnerability of Koreans to CJD, the U.S. exporting cattle over 30 months old to Korea rather than selling it to the domestic market, and, the risk of contracting CJD by consuming beef products such as powdered soup base in instant noodles, cosmetics, and gelatin medication. Reaction to PD Notebook Demonstrations involving tens of thousands of people began shortly after the first broadcast, and increased when MBC aired another segment two weeks later. Korean Communications Commission MBC became the subject of legal action. On 12 August 2008, the Korea Communications Commission called for MBC to apologize to the public over misrepresentations made in the PD Notebook program. MBC apologized a two-minute broadcast, saying, We would like to offer a sincere apology to our viewers over the report. MBC conceded that six translation errors had been made and that downer cattle had been mistakenly identified as suffering from BSE. MBC versus government The government of South Korea directed its prosecutor's office to investigate alleged actions of the MBC including misrepresentations made by the PD Notebook program, aggravation of civil unrest, and, defamation of the Minister for Agriculture. 
In June 2009, four producers and one writer were indicted on the charges. In January 2010, the MBC staff were exonerated by judges of the Seoul Central District Court. The Supreme Court upheld the findings. <laughs> Candlelight demonstrations Some commentators argue that there is a long-held and perpetual culture of protest in South Korea involving groups ranging from anarchists to social reformers. Anti-U.S. beef protests began on 24 May 2008. After the MBC PD notebook broadcast, the U.S. beef protests in Seoul increased. A three-day demonstration held in Relay took place from 5 June 2008 to 7 June 2008. Attendance peaked on the evening of the 10th of June 2008. 80,000 protesters in attendance before declining. Photographs depicting the demonstrations from Reuters, Getty Images, and AFP are published here. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Influence of social media. Internet and text messaging also assisted in publicizing the movement. With ready access to social media, among the first to protest were teenage schoolgirls. A teenage schoolgirl holding a lit candle became the symbol of the anti-U.S. beef protests. Comments made by some protesters had little basis in science. The demonstrators After the initial demonstration, the area in front of Seoul's City Hall, as well as the adjoining streets, were occupied by demonstrators. Early in the protest, a festival-like atmosphere prevailed as protesters of all walks of life, built a makeshift tent city on the lawn at Seoul Plaza. However, some massive, disruptive and sometimes aggressive demonstrations and street marches were held each night, particularly at weekends. Thus, the protest had two faces, more peaceful during the day and more violent at night. About 200 protesters required hospital treatment. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Police action. On the 1st of June 2008, police took action to control demonstrators. Buses and shipping containers were used to halt the progress of street marches. A barrier of shipping containers were erected across Sayung RO to stop marchers from reaching Chungwade, office and residence of the president. The protesters named the barrier, Myung Bak's Fortress, and decorated it with leaflets and large Korean flags. They photographed themselves standing on the barrier. It was dismantled several days later without conflict. Water cannons were used to suppress protesters. Some demonstrators were detained for questioning. The Amnesty International report on the human rights aspects of the demonstrations is published here. The report said, The protests were for the most part peaceful and given its size and duration, both the protesters and the police showed notable organization and restraint. However, there were sporadic incidents of violence, as riot police and protesters clashed. The two main flashpoints of violence occurred on 31 May, 1 June, when the police first used water cannons and fire extinguishers, and 28-29 June, the weekend following the government's announcement that U.S. beef imports would resume. The decision to use water cannons and fire extinguishers contributed to the mass resignation of all 14 members of the Korean National Police Agency's Human Rights Committee. Topic. Effects of the protests Topic. Korean government The approval rating of Lee fell below 20%. Prime Minister Han Sung Su and other cabinet members submitted their resignations to President Lee. On the 22nd of May and then again on the 18th of June 2008, Lee apologized for ignoring public health concerns. Lee said, "I should have paid attention to what people want. Sitting on a hill near Chungwade on the night of the 10th of June, watching the candlelight vigil, I blamed myself for not serving the people better." Lee also delayed the announcement of any further relaxation of beef importation rules, for example, importation of meat from cattle over 30 months of age. 
On 2 July 2008, Han Sung Su, Prime Minister of South Korea, bought 260,000 Korean won, roughly $230 to $260 worth of U.S. steak to eat with his family at his official residence to alleviate public worries about U.S. beef. The same amount of Korean beef would have cost approximately 800,000 Korean won, roughly $700 to $800, three times more expensive than imported U.S. beef. Topic U.S. On the 22nd of June 2008, an American trade envoy headed by Susan C. Schwab agreed with the Korean Prime Minister and Agriculture Minister to limit the export of meat to that from carcasses of cattle less than 30 months old with government certification of their age and to allow Korea to inspect a sample of U.S. slaughterhouses. The agreement also included the banning of importation to Korea of meat from cattle organs considered high risk for transmission of the BSE prion such as brains, eyes, skulls and spinal cord. Schwab said, We look forward to safe, affordable, high-quality American beef, the same beef enjoyed by hundreds of millions of U.S. consumers and people in countries around the world, soon arriving on Korean tables. Tom Casey, deputy spokesman at the U.S. State Department rejected the notion that the U.S. had bullied S. Korea into removing the 2003 ban on U.S. beef imports and said, The U.S. and S. Korea have a long history of military and security cooperation. I don't think this or any other individual issues are going to change the fundamental relations between the two countries. From December 2009 to December 2010 the U.S. Meat Export Federation USMEF used a three-phase project called To Trust. It was an image campaign, designed to increase the trust of Koreans in U.S. beef. It depicted three women who were mothers and homemakers. One was a rancher, one a scientist and one a food safety inspector. Hi. Seoul Festival. In 2009, a small number of demonstrators commemorated the anniversary of the 2008 protests. They forcibly occupied the high Seoul Festival stage in front of the City Hall in central Seoul. The police removed the protesters. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commentators. Kim Dae-jong not to be confused with former Korean president and Nobel Peace Prize winner Kim Dae-young, a columnist at the Korea Times, wrote in his editorial piece, it amounts to double-crossing to be really fond of America in all substantive matters, while bad-mouthing America in public protests. U.S. <laughs> beef imports in South Korea On 1 July 2008, U.S. beef imports resumed. In 2009, the U.S. exported 141 million pounds of beef to South Korea worth $215 million. See also South Korea, United States Free Trade Agreement U.S. beef imports in Japan U.S. beef imports in Taiwan